other, other than the OIR, is there any way to ensure that the issue of the Sheriff's Department taking on sole investigation of a death in the jail, is there a way to prevent that from ever happening again? Were they the only investigators? I'm not, I'm not certain I understood the question. Hey, you had mentioned earlier that the Sheriff's Department took the lead on the investigation of the death of John Chamberlain. No. No. And that essentially the, dip, the district attorney's office was excluded by that very decision from active participation. Is there anything in place that would prevent that from occurring again? The, the, uh, the Sheriff's Department runs the jail, and the Sheriff's Department is in charge of the security at the jail, and, uh, and has the jurisdiction and authority uh, concerning what happens in the jail. And so the, uh, the uh, protocol uh, that uh, is an agreement that the, if the death happens in the jail, and that the sheriff would call in or invite the district attorney to do an independent investigation is, is just that, it's an agreement. It's not a, it's not a requirement under the law. And uh, so your question is good because, uh, um, you know, getting past uh, any uh, individual uh, uh, personalities and, and uh, who wants to work with whom and things of that nature. Uh, is there anything that we can put in place to guarantee that uh, in the future uh, such a thing won't happen? That is, if a death happens in the jail and the uh, sheriff's personnel decide, well, instead of calling in the DA on this one, I think we'll investigate it. Can we, how do we prevent that? Um, that's a pretty good question. I mean, I, I think that, uh, you know, certainly, uh, uh, the uh, acting sheriff uh, is uh, is very willing, and he's expressed the willingness to uh, continue with the uh, uh, with the standing protocol, and not make any changes in that. Uh, I think the fact that we've gone through this entire investigation and uh, all of these things have come to light uh, will uh, uh, will be uh, will tend to uh, uh, move or, or tend to be a force in the direction of requiring. Uh, the, uh, the sheriff in some subsequent case to call in an independent agency to do an independent investigation. Um, but, uh, but I don't see any uh, legal requirement for it. Um, I think uh, uh, that we might want to consider this, the reason that this was put into place was because, the reason this protocol was put in place was because of the uh, uh, inherent conflict uh, that the sheriff has acting as coroner uh, and uh, investigating a death that takes place in the jail. The, uh, uh, as long as the sheriff and the coroner are one and the same, there is an institutionalized conflict of interest. When a, when a death happens in the jail, the sheriff at that point, uh, uh, if he decides to investigate it himself, conflict of interest. And so the reason that these protocols were put in place was to avoid that conflict of interest, to take it away. So I think that uh, that kind of is the answer. It's an institutionalized conflict of interest at this point. How would you describe the cooperation of uh, the acting sheriff with your agency on this matter? Sure. Uh, the uh, acting sheriff, uh, Jack Anderson, has been, uh, uh, has been uh, open and receptive and, uh, uh, and wanting to uh, get as much information as he could. And, uh, and the uh, impression that uh, I've always had from him in any of these discussions has been that, uh, uh, that he uh, wants to uh, uh, cure the problems, that not just because of, uh, not just for political reasons, but that he, that he is, uh, Unhappy with the way the uh, sheriff's office has performed here, and he wants to fix it. And uh, uh, he seems to be—he uh, seems to be very uh, um, uh, honest in that, in, that, uh, in that respect. How many deputies are we talking about uh, when we're talking about deputies who are sleeping? Uh, you know, not 
not doing what they were supposed to be doing. We don't, we don't have a number on um, the ones who were involved in this area, the Alasia. The people who testified basically were saying that this is an uh, ongoing, it's happened all the time. So we don't know the number of victims. Didn't uh, Sheriff Anderson rise through the ranks, though? Did he not have a clue as to any of these things? He's been here a while. He's not. I would defer that question to Sheriff Anderson. One more question. In your opinion, is this a complete systemic problem in the Orange County jail system that there is no control over what's going on and people are going to continue to do this? Well, I don't know. I don't think they're going to continue to do this. I think uh, I think this problem now that it's uh, in the open as it is, uh, well, it's going to get fixed. It's going to be worked on. It's going to be fixed. Uh, is it complete and widespread in the Orange County Jail? I couldn't answer that. I couldn't answer that. I, I could make the same uh, kind of uh, assumptions that you might make based on the information we got concerning this part of the jail. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time and your attention.